Hey guys, Devin here again. Uh, I want to go over a couple of our options for conditions and workflow uh, once we've got an automation set up. So this is the automation that we set up in our past uh, past video tutorials, and we're just going to add some conditions and workflow to this. So in order to do that, we've got a couple options. Uh, we can just click this plus here, and it will allow us to select conditions and workflow and select wait from here. Or we do have the ability to drop this down over here and drag in the weight condition and just drop it on this plus. So this weight condition is perfect for use if maybe you want to say customer places their first order and we want to wait seven days and send them an email that says, hey, we really appreciate your business. We hope you order again. Or here's some other great restaurants we think you should try. Something along those lines. So in order to set something like that up, we would go to wait for a specific period of time, and we can set that to seven days, and then save. That's a pretty simple one. You can read the contact triggers the event first order. We wait for seven days, and we send them this email. Um, we can also do um, a specific time for the contact. So we can come in here, and we can actually uh, let's let's just get rid of this one. And we will add it one more time. So we'll go ahead and add it from the plus this time. Select the wait. So in this case, we want to wait until specific conditions are met. We will set this to date and time. Current time is, and then we can select from a list of available times. Well, let's say we just want to send our emails out at 4 p.m. We'll set it to current time is 4 p.m. and save that. And save it one more time. And we will see here the contact triggers the event first order. Wait until the time is 4 p.m. and send them this email. So that is the basic wait condition. There is one other condition. Uh, that is fairly easy to use and can lead to a lot of really cool automations. It's called the if-else condition. So we're going to go ahead and uh, drag this in down here and drop it. And it's going to ask us how we want to split this automation. So what I'm looking to do here is say if the contact does open our email, then uh, you know they've already seen the information we wanted to provide them with. We don't need to do anything. Uh, if they haven't seen our email, then maybe we want to send them another email or we want to send them a text message. So I'm going to go ahead and say actions has opened. And then we're going to find the email that we set up, which is called first order demo email. Go ahead and click OK on that. And you'll see here that it does split this into two branches for us. Now it is key that we put a wait time in between these. Uh, that way they don't immediately get sent the email and then immediately get sent the second task as well. So we're going to go ahead and bring in a wait and set it to one hour. And save that. And then here we want to read through this to make sure we do attach it properly. It says do they meet the following conditions? Has open campaign. So if they have opened the campaign, that would put them in the yes column. We can leave that blank or drag in a, uh, in this automation for them. And then if the answer is no, we can select here. Let's say we're going to send them a text message. And we can go ahead and set up a text message. Once we do get everything saved and we believe that uh, everything looks the way we want it to look, we do want to read through it one more time and make sure that everything does in fact make sense. Uh, but this if-else condition is a really cool tool that can be used to do all kinds of interesting things.